welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed that hike to probably three of the most popular alpine lakes in Grand Teton National Park, uh, Delta, uh, Surprise, and Amphitheater. And as you can see, couldn't have asked for better weather. Uh, towards the end of September, middle fall of 2021, even though all three lakes starts off at the same trailhead, the Lupine Meadows, uh, Delta is the one that forks off first to the right. So some people do just Delta and then some people do just Amphitheater and uh, Surprise because those two are fairly close to one another. I decided to do all three because one, they're all within the same area and two, I wouldn't know when I would be back. So I wanted to go ahead and fit all three in into one day hike. So in total, it was just over 15 miles round trip and had about 4,200 elevation gain. And it took me about 10 and a half hours. Uh, so not too bad of a day hike, considering how the day before I did the hike to Lake of the Crags and uh, did about nine and a half hours, 14 miles, um, of a very difficult hike. I'll put the link for that hike uh, in the description below as well as the link to it at the end of this video. But if you can do that hike, uh, this one is most certainly doable. It's not quite as easy peasy walk in the park, but uh, it is much easier to do this Delta Trio hike. And out of this trio, uh, Delta is, at least for me, by far the prettier lake. And I think it's because, one, the, the canyon walls are wider, so you get a more uh, unobstructed wide view of the Grand Teton Peak right there. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why Delta has become the more popular hike out of these three. That's not to take anything away from Amphitheater and Surprise, uh, but by the time I got there, which is much later in the afternoon, uh, there were maybe only four or five other hikers there, and most people make it a point to go and do Delta first, and if time and energy is remaining, they would continue on. Otherwise, uh, Delta is, is the main reason why they go on this trail. So for the following day, the fourth day after this hike, I had planned on doing my sixth uh, Alpine Lake hike to Lake Solitude. But after three straight days of hiking with a 15 pound or so backpack, uh, 41 miles, and about 7,750 feet elevation gain, um, I decided not to risk a fourth straight day hike of another 21 mile loop to Lake Solitude and an elevation gain of about 4,200. So I decided to play it safe and cancel that hike and call it a great trip. That said, if I do have plans to return in the future to the Tetons, Lake Solitude is definitely on that and possibly with enough experience hopefully gained, I will have enough confidence and skill set to try and summit the Middle Teton. If any of you have the expertise and the experience and the interest, hit me up and let's talk about it. So until then, thanks for all the like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, and I will catch you guys out on the next trail.